Ladies and gentlemen, one of the biggest stories not many people are talking about is the Durham Probe Report. The Durham Probe Report, like I've been talking about for the past couple of weeks, will lead to possible indictments, but also further investigations. Now, a couple of days back, you had The Hill, New York Times, um, a whole bunch of articles, Bard Defense, Durham Probe, Washington Post a couple days ago, awful new details about the Durham Probe, demand response. This is, these are allegations from the New York Times uh, about the Durham Probe being politicized. So, according to Vox and other publications, because Trump wanted to investigate those who tormented him, accused him of things he didn't do, so the fact is, he did not work with another country in 2016. There was never a reason to even investigate him. You could have done that with President Obama in 2008. He wanted a reset. He, w- he came into 08 with a reset. He was the less hawkish, less militant when it came to that country compared to McCain. And if, and if Bush's intelligence apparatus said, well, we're going to investigate an incoming Democratic president and accuse him with a dossier, there was no President Obama dossier or, or Biden dossier. Actually, there was the truth with Hunter's laptop. But of course, we couldn't find out about that. We had emails. We had uh, a whole bunch of people working, conspiring within the indictment of Sussman and others to fabricate accusations, to, to fabricate this suspicion, to conjure up suspicion against Trump. It was politically motivated. All, everything, all the investigations of Trump were leveled at him because of political animus. They despised Trump. We know this from the inspector general stating uh, there were Federal Bureau of Investigation agents in their text messages disparaging Trump and calling him a menace and all of that, saying that well, they'll stop him. Then the IG said, well, there was no testimonial documentary evidence of bias. Well, there was never going to be any testimonial or documentary evidence. There, will just, there would just have been text messages of people who investigated Trump. They went after Flynn only on allegedly lying to a bureau agent. Nothing else. They went after Papadopoulos, again, lying to an agent. They utilized the government not because these people were conspiring with a foreign power to, to, to steal it away from Hillary Clinton in 2016. They did so because they had no evidence. They used a dossier purchased by the DNC. And they, they then said, well, it was a meeting that George Papadopoulos had with a, an Australian diplomat. But this is a, you wouldn't how many meetings did President Obama's uh, staff or Bill, uh, Biden's staff have with foreign dignitaries? So you had this suspicion. James Clapper in 2017 stated, oh, uh, we don't have any evidence to touch Chuck Todd. Adam Schiff routinely stated uh, the incorrect, false allegation that they or statement that they had evidence against Trump. This was false. So Trump did not work with another country, and that's why he's investigating the investigators. The Durham probe was about finding out how this took place. They did find out, to a great extent, how it took place. It wasn't a failure. What what happened is there was a New York Times article last week that accused Trump of having, or accused Durham of being politicized. Well, of course there's politics involved. Durham is going after, was going after, the P- and Jim Jordan now in the, in the House uh, Judiciary is going after the people who wrongly accused Trump of things he didn't do. This is a fact that Vox and the New York Times and the Washington Post must admit. He did not do those things. If they want to argue that, uh, well, there was grounds for suspicion, that's a whole other debate. But the reality is the Mueller probe was a complete failure. The Durham probe at least got one plea deal from a top bureau official for falsifying records to a FISA judge. So they would never have allowed what took place with with Trump to take place with Biden, Clinton, or President Obama. And then they say, they react in indignation, saying, oh my God, how could Durham have come up with this uh, special counsel to investigate? And look, he didn't indict anyone. Well, who did you indict in the Mueller probe? The Mueller probe report stated categorically there was no evidence that anyone worked with another country. They couldn't even get an FEC or a campaign donation, a campaign finance violation. 
Here you had Clinton paying Sussman. This was a fact acknowledged by Sussman. The jury did not think that the FBI was duped, so therefore he got off. Same with the Steele steel dossier subsource. The people who disparage the Durham probe don't really understand what the Durham probe was all about. And they would never have allowed all the things leveled to Trump to be leveled against Democrats. But hit subscribe to this channel, 8 a.m. and 11 a.m. every single day on this channel. I'll have um, uh, videos every single day, 8 a.m. and 11 a.m. Very important to the people that wait and, at 8 a.m. and 11 a.m. I appreciate your support, ladies and gentlemen. And become a Patreon to my new Patreons. Thank you. This is completely funded by um, people who watch the channel. So I appreciate your support greatly. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, thank you. Um, all I can say is that I appreciate your support greatly. And my super thanks is below. Go to hagoodman.com to read my writing on The Hill, The Huffington Post, Salon, The Jerusalem Post, The Federalist, and other publications. Become part of a newsletter there. The report is coming out. According to CNN and every other publication, there's a report coming out. Okay, Jim Jordan is going to utilize that report, as will James Comer, and they will investigate the, the they will abide by recommendations or revelations within the report. We know from the Sussman indictment, for example, we know from the Sussman indictment, for example, okay, that Sussman was paid by Clinton, that he worked with tech people to fabricate allegations against Trump. We learned this from the Durham probe. The Steele dossier subsource was paid millions of dollars. No, I'm sorry, hundreds of thousands? Some, something, no, 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 no. He was paid a good deal of money, okay? Uh, then Chinko paid by FBI. He was paid by the FBI, 200,000. Um, the Bureau offered $1 million to Christopher Steele to prove the dossier was correct. Okay, and so it wasn't. It wasn't. And so it, the, everything was just a complete fabricated hoax. And so it was. it is rational. It is completely rational. They don't want the report to, um, to help Republicans, but the report will. So the Durham probe report is very, very, very important. That is a huge, huge deal. I, I might have a live stream tonight. I'm not sure. Uh, but it's a huge deal, ladies and gentlemen. And the reason it's so important is because you have you have a Durham Pro that was a letdown to a lot of people in terms of indictments. You need an attorney general. You need congressional support. You have the congressional support now. Media is slowly turning a little bit more objective. I know that people can't really see that, but it is. Okay, because there's only so much they can do to prop up a failed presidency, which is Biden. Biden's presidency is a failed presidency. Okay, um, it just it is a, it's just a failed presidency. Um, you, you're looking at, and we'll have the State of the Union tomorrow, but it's gonna be we'll have a live stream for sure tomorrow for the State of the Union. So be here tomorrow for the live stream. Uh, the State of the Union. We just had a spy balloon all over the country. And of course, the cognitive dissonance is unbelievable. If it was Trump, and it's it's like the rebuttal of, I, I don't have Twitter, but you see these like absurd rebuttals from like professors. It's like, oh, well, you know, this thing never happened. Like, no, 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 of course it never happened. The point is you're explaining how media would react if Trump, if if a spy balloon floated all throughout the United States, if Trump were president. It never happened. That never, ever happened. Then they're saying, oh, well, it did with Trump. You can't find any articles. I did a segment today. You could find a lot of articles on February of 2022, a spy balloon or a balloon um, above Hawaii. So almost certainly China has been doing this for years, or at least since Biden's been in office. Trump would have immediately upped the ante with tariffs, increased tariffs, it would have been immediate economic repercussions, not necessarily military repercussions. And you have the Lincoln Project today. I'm, again, I don't have a Twitter account, but you, you just see, I just scroll and see like what's going on. Lincoln Project said, oh, um, he brought, they, uh, Biden brought down the balloon just like he brought down inflation. 
both inflation and the balloon went up. <laughs> then they went down artificially or they went down after a, a whole a long time of causing damage. The balloon went down only after it finished its mission and inflation went up to 8%, over 8%, then down to 6%. It's still at 6% and he caused it. It was at 2% when he took office. Yet another lie. So, and then and then Marjorie Taylor Greene, I was going to do, a, I'll, I might do a segment later. Marjorie Taylor Greene is 100% right. And if you say, oh, well, you know what? Oh, she says, uh, she says stupid things. Well, so does AOC. <laughs> I don't see the, so does Biden. So does Fetterman. I don't see uh, Democrats or media going after them. Anyway, they, the apparatus, the media apparatus props up the Democratic Party. It's Democrats, media uh, against, and never Trumpers against Trump or independents or Green Party. It's not, believe me, it's like the public relations monstrosity props up their political side. It never used to be like that. 20 years ago, CNN, Wolf Blitzer, they didn't care who won in Bush v. Gore. Now it's completely different. Media is an extension of the Democratic Party. We know from Twitter that Twitter, the Twitter files show that that government officials, um, Democrats, government agencies, and Twitter officials were working to silence anything detrimental to the Democratic Party and also uh, suspend and and ban hundreds of thousands of conservative accounts. So this is all public record. Anyway, hit subscribe to this channel. They are petrified, or at least they're frightened of the Durham probe report, okay? And if you look at the indictments, the indictments themselves are, you know, prove why the Durham probe should have taken place and should have continued. Give me your thoughts below, hit subscribe. I mean, you know, you really didn't need, the prosecution, He try, Durham tried to, tried to prosecute the Durham probe the way Mueller did with the Mueller probe, but see, media and the FBI, they were not on board with the Durham probe. They were on board with Mueller that's why most people don't see, or a lot of people don't see, how catastrophic of a failure Mueller was. They couldn't even find within the indictments anything to do with colluding with another country. Within the indictments within the Durham probe, you could definitely find all this shady, corrupt, despicable behavior leveled at Trump because of political bias and animus. Give me your thoughts below. Hit subscribe right now. Huge, huge, huge uh, report.